Reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for Art with Miss Kate. Hello artists, buenos dias artistas. Today Amy Lou and I are going to show you what to do with mistakes because we all make them all the time. And in our stay at home series, we're trying to not start over, not throw it away. We're trying to keep going. So let's see what we can learn. We're going to read a book called Beautiful Oops. And it's all about mistakes and what to do with them. It's very clever. It's by Barney Salzberg. Here we go. Oops! A torn piece of paper. It's just the beginning. Look! The artist made the tear into the crocodile's mouth. Very clever. Every spill has lots and lots of possibilities. So one spill shape was turned into one, two, three, three different things. Very clever. Bent paper is something to celebrate. So the artist turned the uh, bent piece of paper into the penguin's face. Very clever. A little drip of paint. Whoopsies. Let your imagination run wild. So the drips were turned into a piggy and the tires on a car from a different piggy. A smudge and a smear can make magic appear. Smudge, smear, Rabbit fish. A stain has potential if you play with its shape. I love that little guy. All because of a stain. Very clever. Holes in your paper are worth exploring. And we can't see this, but in here, in here it says the word see. When you think you've made a mistake, oops, think of it as an opportunity to make something beautiful. And boys and girls, this is the honest truth. Almost all of my cool art ideas come from mistakes. You know that really big painting at the front of our school that says, Bienvenidos a Hegel, welcome to Hegel. It goes from the floor to the ceiling. That has, oh, it's like 32 mistakes, something like that. And I didn't fix them because people don't notice them and I decided to leave them as a teaching lesson. Sometimes I take you down to the painting and I ask you to find the mistakes and you can't. So here I used paint stick and I made a random white line and I turned it every which way. And I just kept seeing an abstract painting, so I went with that, and I made an abstract painting. Here is my random line, and to me it looked like a castle, so I turned it into a castle using, again, paint stick. We don't all have paint stick at home. What if we don't? What if we have markers and crayon? Here I took a random line, and I turned it every which way. And I sure kept seeing a mountain range. And after I drew with my marker, I turned my crayon sideways like that, how when we made our texture hunt and made my sky. So let's explore this one because lots of us have markers. So there's my random line. Turn it every way you want. What do you see? Sometimes you see different things depending on how the paper's turned. I'll do my mountains again. Because I'm trying to keep things very simple for our Art at Home series. We talked about this a different day. If you want to fill large areas with your marker quickly, use your marker like that. If you want to draw lines, use the tip. Markers are a little more versatile than we might think. Okay. Now, I see a mistake right here, a little bit of ink. I'm going to ignore it. I think when we're done, we just aren't going to notice it that much. And if we do, oh well. Make a random line on another piece of paper and try again. You could do this with just pencil. 
If you have sidewalk chalk, you could go outside as long as it's okay with your grown-ups and make a random line on the sidewalk and do a sidewalk chalk. Beautiful oops. There's basically no wrong way to do our Art at Home series. It's always using the supplies that you have on hand and that your grown-ups want you to use, basically. That's the way we're doing Art at Home. So I'm layering some green. We talked about layering in a different art class. It's when you put more than one color on top of each other, more than one texture on top of each other. Uh, it's basically when you do this. There, I've got some green, some brown, some light green. Now look at that sky. I want to do a sun, because today's a beautiful sun, beautiful sunny day. Here's my sun, and my sun has some nice big rays, and I'm using my marker on the side again. I always try to be fast in my demonstrations to give you more time to work. Here I'm going to do a little orange. Layering some orange on top of the yellow. And then I need to do my sky. I'm going to take my turquoise. I'm going to do my spiral clouds. Okay. And then I'm going to take my turquoise crayon. It's one of the ones I peeled for our texture hunt and use it on the side and that's going to fill in the rest of my sky and give it kind of a cool texture. I'm actually picking up the texture from my work table. So here we're going to combine texture with the rest of our project. This is called mixed media when you use more than one art supply on the same work of art. I'm pretty fond of mixed media and my personal artwork. I use it very often. All right, my friends, there you go. A beautiful oops. Enjoy making something out of your mistakes. Miss you. Bye-bye.